I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Charleston Chain Reaction. We're going to look at a dealt hand and then pick a plan A and a plan B. We'll do a mock Charleston for each plan and compare results. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to be the dealer for this exercise, so I'll get 14 tiles. Then I'll create a mock Charleston with no jokers. We'll pick a plan A and a plan B, go through the mock Charleston, look at the results, and then we'll do it again and compare with a different plan. A pair of flowers, east, west, red. One eight in cracks, two three seven nine in dots, one two nine in bands. If these were your tiles, what would be your plan A and what would be your plan B? If these were my tiles, I would build around the predominant pattern and probably try to play something with flowers. We have more one, two, three than seven, eight, nine. So I think what I would do for plan A is one, two, three of some kind. And then plan B could be seven, eight, nine. We do have like numbers there. We also have like numbers with twos. Let's start with a photo. You got to be able to recreate this if you do this at home. I would break these up since we have flowers. So I would start here. One, two, three. We might be able to play a year hand. So let's maybe keep that dragon. So let's pass a west with a seven and a nine. We're going to take a photo. When you're gathering tiles in a consecutive run, try to gather in a range of four numbers. One, two, three, four, two, three, four, five. Maybe this will be useful. We have tiles we can pass, so let's keep the four and the five. One, three. We may be even able to do one, three, five. I think I would give up on the dragon. We've got a two. Second multiple, two. I would reassess. So here we have one, two. One, two, one, two, three, mix suit cons. One, three, two, three, four. One, two, one, three, one, two, two, three, four, five. Here's one, three, five, but we let the dragon go. This five, let's see, one, two, Three, three. I think I would let the fives go. One, two, three, three. Let's let the four go. One and a four. We have a gap, no two. 
five, nine. I think I would let the four go. One, two, three. That looks better than, let's see, it would be one, two, three, three. All right, let's let these go. Whoa, look at that. Three. Let's just put them all in order here. Seems like we have too many tiles. No. Okay. Three flowers. We really don't need all those flowers unless we play a quint. We have no jokers, so. though. So I wouldn't really think about that too much. And I don't pass flowers. You don't have to put them in order. I just have a little bit of OCD, so forget me. Okay, so one, two, three. One, two, three, no gaps. That's what I would focus on. So let's pass one, two, three, right here. We'll take a photo. We have tiles we can pass. I think I would just keep the five. No keepers. One, two, three, four discards. Well, really five. But look, we have one, two, three, hand with no gaps. So we have five discards and a hand with no gaps. So we'll remember that. I'm going to set up for seven, eight, nine, and let's see if it's any better. This is what we started with. So let's keep seven, eight, nine. Seven, eight, nine, nine, here's a nine. We'll pass these. Seven, eight, nine, flower. Okay, let's pass two, one with a wind. Oh, eight, that's a keeper. Just keep them all. Doesn't matter what suit it is, Keep them all. Seven, eight, nine. If we get a six, we'll keep the six for four numbers in a range. We really don't need that dragon. But we do have tiles we can pass here. Let's see, we have two, three, four. I think I would probably break up the three and the four. Oh, I don't think I'd want to be left with one, three, five. So let's do... Hmm, four, one, five, east. Then we could do two, four, red, or something like that. Wait a minute, let's keep the five. Maybe we could do five, seven, nine. Big odds, it's a big number. Whoa, uh-oh. I think I lost a tile. Where did it go? Oh goodness, okay. Let's see if I can recover with that. Let's see, we have seven, three, one crack. There it is. That's why you wanna take photos. Okay, we got a seven. Five, seven, nine, or seven, eight, nine. We have tiles we can pass. Maybe make it a little better. We got a five, five, seven, nine. Here's a pair that showed up. We can break it up though. We're focused on seven, eight, nine, or big odds. Nine. We have tiles we can pass. Just keep gathering. Flower. Two threes. I would not pass two threes. All right, so now we need to look at this and figure out what we want to play. 
I wouldn't pass the flowers, so I would just keep the flowers. Keep the flowers. Five seven eight nine seven nine five eight nine. Seven eight nine is the predominant pattern here. Seven eight nine. Eight nine eight eight nine. We could maybe try for a pair hand. We have to let something go though, because I would not pass like numbers. Seven eight eight nine nine eight nine seven. Let's let the seven go. Nine dot. Five dot. Five dot. Five band. I kind of wonder if this hand wants to be a big odd hand. Okay, we actually do have a hand in here. Seven bam, eight crack, nine dot. Really the fives can go. They're isolated. The primary pattern here, or predominant pattern, is seven, eight, nine. Or maybe like numbers with nines. Let's keep the dragon. Eight, nine, nine, eight, nine, seven. Let's pass the seven. Focus on nines. No keepers. Boy, this there were a lot of odd tiles. Four discards there. I think I'd probably play like numbers with nines. But I would probably keep the eights for an option for the concealed hand. Start by discarding those. So four discards with options. I think that the choices were equitable. The other result had a much stronger hand. Here we have options between eight, nine pair hand and like numbers with nines. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, write it in the comment section below. American Mahjong is a very flexible game. You can make almost anything work. If you start with a set of tiles and you see two different ways to go, they could have equal results. Try this exercise at home to test your instincts. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, May all your picks be keepers.